Assalamualaikum and a lovely, lovely morning to all of my students and whoever is watching this video right now. Uh, as always, I hope and pray that you're all feeling great, a bit full of energy and enthusiasm. Even in such hard days, uh, it's very, very important to keep your motivation, to, uh, your enthusiasm very high. And for that, uh, you need to uh, keep yourself uh, well, safe from the uh, direct sunlight, UV rays. Uh, you need to hydrate yourself. Uh, and for hydrating yourself, as I told you, that you need to drink a lot of water. Uh, you need to take a lot of fruits, like watermelon is the best, best, best source uh, to hydrate yourself. And uh, very important in these uh, uh, hot summer days. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us uh, the uh, fruits as per the uh, feather situation, as per the environment, because our body needs that. Right, so uh, we need to hydrate uh, like uh, the whole year, like twelve months. Every day we need to hydrate ourselves. But in summers, yes, that is more important because we sweat a lot, and uh, we need to take more water. Right, so um, if you'll be taking more water, you will be hydrating yourself, and you will be uh, with high energy. Uh, yeah, you can drink lemonade. That is even very, very good for uh, your um, to take minerals and salts. Um, very important, and then your energy level will not be low. You will feel great. You will feel energetic. You will feel motivated, and when you will be feeling all that, you will be more, more, more happy, and um, you will spread happiness. So please, please, please um, follow all these things as we are following all the SOPs up till now. You're going to follow this as well because that is even very, very, very important. So. Keep yourself energetic and keep yourself happy and then keep others happy. So the first thing is to take care of yourself and then taking care of the others who are around you, right? So another beautiful day ahead, uh, which we have started already. We start our days uh, uh, early uh, because the sun rises early, sun gets up early, so we should also get up early. Uh, and if we get up early, even then, we have a lot and a lot of energy. We can manage our time. We can... Um, uh, do or our things and uh, uh, like uh, time we can manage the time and then we have time for ourselves as well we can watch a movie we can pamper ourselves uh, we can go out for a walk with a friend uh, so like we can do uh, many things uh, for ourselves as well okay so uh, right now we are in our literacy class and as you know that we are doing alphabets in today's alphabet is even very interesting as always. Um, yes, yeah, some of them were a little boring. Yeah, X is also boring because we don't have much, much with X. But today we are not doing X. We are doing something, something very nice. Uh, and um, I'm going to show you the pictures first. And we'll see what we are looking at and what is the beginning sound of that. And then what is the alphabet? Then we'll be able to guess the alphabet, right? Okay. So what should I start with? Mm, I think I should start with something which I just told you to take. That is my favorite, favorite, favorite fruit in summers. Did you get that? What am I talking about? What is the summer food I just talked about to take and to hydrate yourself? What was it? Yes, a watermelon. Yay, so yummy, green, juicy, and amazing food. So, uh, yes, I was talking about watermelon. So I'm just showing you watermelon as well. So watermelon, watermelon, right? So today's alphabet is related to watermelon. So you can get to know that. You should know. You just make a guess at what we are going to do today, which is the alphabet, which we will be doing today. What do you think? Okay, I'm just going to uh, put this uh, on the board, right? Okay. 
I said, I'm just going to put it on the board for you to have a look, right? So I have put these over here, right? So you can see that. No watermelon. Now, what do you think is the alphabet for today? Yes. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, but it's very easy. Okay, I'll give you something else. Okay, I'll give you something else. And that is, I'm going to put on the board for you to see. And that is a, what is this? Window. Yes, it's a window. Watermelon and window. Window. Oh, oh, window. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you are guessing it, I think. You are. Okay, okay. I'll give you one more. One more. Okay. Yeah, that is even like very nice, very easy. Okay, I'm going to put this over here. Mm, what is this? Web. Web. Watermelon. Window. Web. Yes. What? What? Yeah, very good. Today's alphabet is W. W. Watermelon. W. Window. W. Web. Wow. Yes. Wow starts with W even. Yeah. So we have watermelon. We have window. We have web. Okay, now let's see what else do we have that starts with W, right? I'm just going to show you. Oh, yes. It is a huge thing. A huge, huge, huge animal. Uh, it's a water animal. It's very huge, and I'm just going to show you that. It is very huge. It lives in the water, and it's a whale. Yes, I cannot make such huge whale because that won't fit in my room, not in my house. So I had to make it with the paper, right? So, but the a whale is a huge animal. It's a huge, huge animal, right? So whale even starts with W, okay? So you have put whale over here, I think. So you can see it, okay? Now, there is another thing. Uh, now, these things lives in the ground, under the ground. And this mostly, mostly comes out in the rainy season, rainy season, yeah. No, it's not a frog. It's not a frog. It is under the ground, in the soil, yes. It lives in the soil and it comes out uh, ju even just uh, in the rainy season. It just comes out. We only see them in the rainy season. Just they just come out of the soil. They come up uh, because the soil gets very uh, soft. So they come out. I don't know what do we want, but yes, they come out. And that's a earthworm. Uh, we are going to call it worm, right? Um, but this is earthworm. But this is a worm, uh, which is uh, like. Um, any kind of worm, uh, but mostly I have given you, uh, to get you the idea, I've told you that there is somebody who lives under the soil. So this is worm as well. Uh, there are worms in the stomach as well. Yeah, sometimes. So um, this kind of worm, yeah, oh my God. Sometimes when um, kids have stomachache, they've got like some worms like that in the stomachs. So they need to go to the doctor, right? Okay, so we have this worm, okay? I hope you can see this. Yeah, you can see this. You then, uh, there is uh, one more thing that is in your cars. Yeah, and mostly there are four. Uh, sometimes there are five as well. The, yeah, there, there are five. The fifth one is, um, uh, only being used uh, in the emergency. 
There are five of them in the vehicle, uh, but the fifth is only used in the case of emergency. And what is that? That's a wheel, right? Uh, it's a wheel. Uh, we call it tire as well, right? Uh, and wheel as well, right? Uh, the steering, we call it wheel, the steering wheel, which we move to drive the car, to turn the car. That is also a wheel, but we call it a steering wheel, right? So, but this is also a wheel, we call it tire as well, and wheel as well, right? Wheel is mostly the round thing, right? So one more thing we're left with that starts with the alphabet W, right? And that is this. The architect animal, uh, this is which we have uh, done before. This is the walrus, yeah. So walrus is uh, the uh, architect animal uh, that starts with W, okay? Now we have all these things displayed in the board, you know, which, are start, which starts with W. Uh, it has got window. Yeah, window, it's got whale, it's got uh, walrus, that starts with W. Then we have got watermelon. Then we have got the web, right? Can you see the web, the spider web? You must have seen that, right? Then we have got the wheel and we have got the worm. Now there are many kinds of worms, like, right? okay? Uh, but the kira, which uh, we see like this, something like this, uh, it is called war, right? So see, um, we have uh, so much that starts with the W uh, and that's really nice. Uh, you can even find uh, some more too. Uh, uh, there are somebody whose names uh, can start with W. Uh, is there anybody whose name starts with W? Yes, Vakas starts with W. Uh, Wania, I think that starts with W. Yeah, Wakar starts with W. Yes, very good. So uh, there are like a couple of names as well that starts with W. And uh, um, so you are going to look for like a lot more objects uh, which starts with W, right? Uh, look for uh, many different things that start with W, okay? And now we are going to learn to trace uh, the alphabet. Oops, I'm sorry. Okay, All right? So we are going to just trace W. It's got like um, four strokes in it, right? So I think uh, it is the most strokes that right? we have done up till now, W. Yeah, I think so, right? Mostly there are like two, no, M, M. Yes, M has got four strokes, the capital M, because if we turn it down, it looks like M, right? Yeah, so we are going to do W. So how are we going to start? They're like, like all diagonal lines, if you can see, right? They're all diagonal lines, which are connected. So we're going to do one, two, three, and four, right? One, two, three, and four. Easy? Yeah. So down, up, down, up. Got it? Again, down, up, down, up. Okay, and the alphabet uh, W, uh, the capital and the small letter both are of the same, same, same shape. Um, our only difference is uh, like the size of it. Uh, the small letter is a little, it is small because we're going to write it in the two lines. And the capital W will be uh, a little bigger because that is going to fit in uh, the three lines, right? So uh, this is W, and now we are going to practice that uh, in our uh, book, okay? So for that, we need to take out our N to Z alphabet fun book, right? Yeah, please take that out. And we are going to do today page number 28, yes. We're going to do page number 28. 
Oh, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. We're not going to do page number 28, we're going to do page number 30. I'm sorry. Okay. Now, oh, wow. What do you see on page number 31? What do you see? Yeah, that's a watermelon. Yay, that's a watermelon. Doesn't look like a watermelon. Our watermelon is way cute. Beautiful, okay? So uh, we have another watermelon. There's a small watermelon and this big watermelon. Wow, well, small watermelon, big watermelon. Yeah, the two. So this is not, I think, ready to eat because it's very small, but this maybe, yeah, this is ready to eat. This must be red from inside, right? Okay, so W is for watermelon. Watermelon, all right? Yes, W is for watermelon, okay? So we are going to start tracing this, okay? Right, so we are going to start tracing it. Yay. Okay, so we have got two Ws, right? One is this one, a bigger one, and the other one is a little smaller one, right? But all of them have a little diagonal lines, four strokes, as I told you before, right? So we're going to start. Uh, it goes down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, right? So one, two, three, and four, right? So in the same way, we are going to trace this one with a finger, right? Now here, this is stroke number one, right? Goes down, then starts the second, goes up, then the third, goes down, and the fourth again goes up, right? So again, put your finger over here, slightly slide it down, slide it up, and slide it down, go up. Wow, right? Now, once again, with your finger, down, sorry, I'm going out. Down, up, down, up, right? Okay, that's great. So now you are going to take out your pencils, right? And you are going to trace the big W over here, right? Yeah, trace the big W over here. Very good. This one? Yeah. First one, down, then up, then down, then up. Slowly, easily, comfortably. And for that, you need to put your book flat on the table, sit properly. Yes, relax yourself. Sit comfortably, properly, and hold the pencil in your hand like this, in these two fingers and then lock it with your thumb, right? That's great. Now start tracing the big W first. Yeah. Stay on the line. Don't go off the line. Now you have mastered it, you have practiced it. So I know you can do it so well. Okay. Yeah, just do it quickly. Very good. Okay, so W, trace it a little harder, a little harder, not, not really harder, a little harder, so that can be shown on the screen, and um, I can see that, right? Okay, now show me, that's nice. Okay, very good, good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to trace these Ws. One, two, three, four, five, and six, right? And, and the rest of the six you're going to do for the homework, okay? So you are going to trace this down, up, down, up, 
right? There are red dots, which you know you have to join, and I know you can do it so well. So with your pencil, sit comfortably, put the book flat, relax yourself, and then start crazy. Yeah, that's great, good. Very, very, very nice. Okay, that is great. Yeah, do it uh, nicely, slowly. There's no need to worry. There's no race going on. So you need, I want you to do your work very nicely, okay? Yeah. So is it easy for you? You'll be able to draw all the lines, manage all the lines, right? Okay, that's great, super great. Okay, you've done that? Okay, amazing. So we are going to uh, go on to the next exercise. That is the color, the watermelon slices with the letter W, right? So we have this picture here in front of us. There are like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine slices of watermelon, right, over here. And um, they have got like different alphabets written on them. We're only going to color the watermelon with the alphabet W, right? Okay. So just uh, look at the picture carefully. I'm going to. Uh, I'm also going to look at that carefully, and we're going to see that how many Ws are there. Okay. Okay. Now look at it carefully, all of you. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. You find it out? Okay. Did you find it out? Oh, that's great. So now um, you're going to tell me that how many slices have the alphabet W written on them? How many? Yes, there are five with the W written on them. But why are they not red? We are going to make them red so that will be ripe and juicy and ready to eat okay so um we're going to color the watermelon slices which color we're going to do yes we are going to do red color my red color is over there okay no problem so we are going to uh, color the w's um five yeah they are like one uh two three four and five right Okay, so we are going to color them red, mm, so they'll look very juicy. Okay, so um, okay, uh, you're going to do that later. Uh, which color are you going to do in this W? Yeah, this shade of green, right? And then you're going to complete your watermelon as well. You're going to give it a green color, a little lighter green because it, it's just got two shades of green, um, darker green like this, and then uh, in between uh, there's a light green. So you're going to do this light green, right? You're gonna make it purple. You're gonna make it um, yellow. You're gonna make it black. So you, the only um, choice you have is light green because. Um, See, my uh, um, uh, watermelon is also green and light green combination, right? So this, and from, but from inside, it is red. Okay. So this was our uh, electricity class in which we have done W today. And these are all the things which we have done with W, uh, watermelon, window, whale, walrus, wheel, web, worm, wallet that just came into my um with window what what else um there, there must be something else that you are know, going to find them out okay so, oh yeah there's one very important 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 uh thing with that starts with w which i just told you that you need to hydrate yourself so to hydrate yourself what are you going to drink Water, yes, water. We have to drink water. And water starts with W. Water, window, watermelon, whale, web, walrus, wheel, warm. So we need to do a uh, phrase uh, like that to take out the sound of W, wo, wo, right? Yes, and um, this was our literacy class today, and I hope you have enjoyed that. So I'm going to say you goodbye from this class now, and I'm going to see you in the next class, inshallah, very soon. Till then, stay safe, be happy, and be grateful. 
to uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for everything we have. And please uh, keep hydrating yourself, right? Till then, we see each other. I'll say bye-bye and Allah Hafiz.